Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the three skills essential to a programmer. Now, I'm going to make this analogy over and over again, but oftentimes uh, learning to be a programmer requires certain skills, much like a basketball player needs to learn certain skills as well. Now, there's a whole variety of different types of jobs in programming. You could be a web application developer, you could be a database programmer, you could be somebody that does DevOps and does a lot of scripting or uh, creating a Docker container uh, for a certain reason or something like that. But all of them have something in common, much like basketball players have something in common. You don't have to be a point guard or center or a wing or something like that. There's a lot of different roles but these are common to all of them. So the first skill that you're going to need is like kind of like dribbling in basketball. You need to know at least one programming language. This is something that almost everyone needs in some capacity. And this could be as simple as like bash scripting, or I mean, it's not really that simple, but it could be um, on that level, very OS. Um, it could be like a scripting language, Perl, Python, something like that. Um, it could be more lower level like C or Go or something like that. There, there's a lot of different languages, but you need to know at least one so that you can make it make the computer do what you need to. Now, a second one, uh, a second skill that all programmers need is some way to navigate a lot of stuff, right? Um, and this would be kind of like shooting in basketball. You need, you need a way to get stuff done. And that means that you need to know some sort of an editor or some sort of, um, you know, IDE or something like that. Um, oftentimes, a lot of people like Emacs or Vim. Um, I, I guess that's more old school than um, some of the newer type stuff. But depending on what kind of programming you, you're doing, uh, this is going to vary. So if you're a game programmer, you're often going to use some sort of an IDE um, uh, that's uh, completely integrated and you, you run everything through that. Uh, but oftentimes you are also doing like, um, you know, something that doesn't have an ID and that, that needs to be constantly uh, monitored and so on. So, uh, you know, that could be a lot of different things. So, uh, you know, depending on what it is, you need to know sort of the tools around it. Um, you know, a, a, a hook shot by a center is not going to be the same form as you know, somebody shooting a, um, a three-pointer, uh, a point guard shooting a three-pointer. So um, the tools that you use might vary uh, depending on that, but uh, you need to know at least one of them, preferably more than one if you uh, want to do more than one thing. Uh, the last skill that you need is kind of an overlooked one, but uh, this is uh, kind of like defense and basketball. Everyone likes to dribble and shoot. Uh, very few people like to play defense, but it is literally half the game. And in programming, this would be something like making sure, uh, thinking from an adversarial perspective. And there are two tools that really help in that regard. The first one is uh, code reviews, right? Like have somebody review your code. And this often <laughs> times requires some sort of a bribe to somebody else because uh, coders actually like to code and they don't actually like to read very much. Um, as they say, writing code is a lot more fun than reading it. But reading code can be good for the person that's reading it and good for you who's coding it because you'll uh, get through a lot of flaws that you didn't see before. So the last one, uh, last part of this is uh, actually doing some sort of unit testing. And this is uh, sort of like um, practicing certain defensive moves in basketball. It's, uh, it's making sure that a certain type of thing uh, doesn't happen to you. And this is very, very important for making sure that your application is secure and so on. So, um, you know, the, these are the main three things that you need, uh, you know, the skills to uh, develop as you uh, you know, go on your journey to be a programmer. Um, even if you've been in it for a long time, uh, you might have some flaws in one of these uh, parts of your game. So, um, you know, improving it is well worth your while. So that again is learning some sort of a programming language, some sort of editor or environment uh, plus command line that you need to know, and, uh, you know, working on defense that is doing some sort of coding uh, code review or some a uh, lot of unit tests and so on um, all of these things will help you and i hope that helps you this song is done